Okay, this is basically what we orchestrated right here. Let's see if the SWAT does help us out. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> SWAT boys! SWAT boys! In my back pocket. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Basement. I'm your host, the Birdman of this Falcon. As you guys saw with the last video, we completed the current story update that dropped recently. So at the moment, we gotta wait until the next part drops whenever it does. Hopefully, it's sometime soon this time. That being said, I still kind of have the itch to play a bit more Basement. So here's what I'm planning to do. I'm gonna go into Sandbox mode here for us, and I'll start up a Sandbox mode Empire thing to see how well we could do. And I'll leave it up to you guys to decide if you want to see more of that going forward. We could do a little small sandbox mode run. If not, it's perfectly fine. We'll just wait for the next update and kind of revisit Basement then. But, you know, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. So let me know in the comments and leaving a thumbs up if you want to see more Basement. For now, um, I want to start off with a building that's completely empty. And I need to build it myself. So we'll go with that one over here. This gives us the most money, but it's also completely empty. So we have to start fresh, which is good. Um, we'll deal with two AI factions because it's been a while. I don't want to mess around with three. So two is fine, we'll go into normal, and we can do 12 buildings max, huh? Let me drop like, let's get five mediums, five large, and two small. Is that good? I don't know. <laughs> Why not? And we'll leave random encounters on. Let's go for it. Okay, so, um, we have what I could only call now Tuco's gang over here, and then we got Miguel's gang, which is the green dudes as well. So I like that they've made them over to, or at least they've pushed them over to the sandbox mode as well. And then over here we got Random dudes going to take care of at some point and take their product. Bunkers. Okay. So let's start off over here and let's start digging down in. That money bin is going to have to go down below. So we'll probably make one somewhere down here, I would say. Let's dig this out momentarily. I'm going to keep this in real slow time so we don't get an early attack. The thing about sandbox, I hope they've balanced it out, but in the past, like, you could barely start your sandbox mode and then instantly get attacked by a gang and get wiped out. There used to be like really serious issues with the sandbox balancing, so I'm hoping that's been looked into since I last played. Because the last thing I want to do is right now get like a base up and running and suddenly like get attacked and we're not really ready for an onslaught of another gang here. So we're going to move this down here. And this will probably be a grow box. This will probably be shelf and this will be my cell area. So for now let's build you down here. And I said that should be a grow box. I don't think we could put it in though because we need energy first, right? So I guess we could probably, at least for now, make the generator down here, all the way down to the bottom. You could be sold off now. And that's good, that's fine. Over here will be shell. This will be grow box. We can start off with either regular green or acid apparently. Acid, what's the downside of acid aggression, poison damage? We could kill a lot of our clientele from intoxication, which means that the cops will roll by really often and ask for shakedowns and stuff like that. So let's just go with the basic green here for now. Later on, we'll mess around with um, acid. We could also make um, ways to kind of lower the toxicity on that eventually too. And then this will be my cell area. We have regular green room and a purple one, five customers to three. Let's start out very slow. I don't necessarily want to, like, you know, have an underproduction and then, like, my people get pissed off because they're waiting in line. And by the people, I mean the junkies out there. I don't want them attacking my salespeople. So that's good. We still need a locker room, obviously. Just dig everything out over here. We need to be completely broke, but that's fine. At least I get to build this to my own liking. So I'm okay with that. And I guess over here is where we'll make the sofa for now. So we don't have to travel too far, both of us. It'll be a small operation here first, just like a creator and a seller. And then here is where we'll go with the slots, and now we can start hiring some people. So, let's see, hire. Let's start working with, um, apparently Donald's the only production dude we have over here. One a day. Hook Donald up over here. Donald, wow, what job? Yeah, you know exactly where you're going, right buddy? You're coming down here? I like Emily because of her fighting ability. If any of the junkies go crazy, Emily could set them down. 0.1 stamina, is that really a big difference? I would say no, I'm gonna pick up Emily. Now, over here next door, we have the hospital. Next to us, we have a, ooh. That could be a lot of easy product for us to take over. It's only one dude in there, too. We're up to 500, yeah, that's good. Um, Health 41, damage six. He's uh, a fairly strong dude. Not sure why he's wearing a pig mask. He's hiding out there alone in a pig mask with a bunch of drugs. Well, I guess that explains the, um, 
the Pigmex. He's just completely out of his rocker. We can't hire anybody at the moment, right? So we would need to upgrade this first. And just send a hired goon next door to whip that dude's ass. Um, but if I do that, it's fine. But we cannot move the product over because I don't have... I don't have... Oh, here we go. I don't have a garage. So let's get Brenda. And because this isn't part of a gang, I don't think this will really instigate anybody to start attacking us anytime soon. So Brenda, you're going to go over there to... Choose you. To attack. Off you go. Good luck to you. I think you're going to die. But that's perfectly fine. I don't plan to keep you on my payroll anytime soon. There's Brenda. She's got a, a semi-chance. But not a good enough chance. I Worker died. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's a really high turnover rate when it comes to the drug industry, what can I say? So we're at 607 again, which is perfectly fine. We got no product in the shells, which kind of worries me a bit. Can we do an upgrade here? Mm, yes, we can. Oh, we got different upgrades now. I don't remember all of this stuff here. A bit more stamina. There's also an explosion probability with that one. Productivity plus four, but it requires a ton of power. So if we were to upgrade Jenny, it would be plus 10, correct? Plus four, plus eight for 500. Yeah, see, before there used to be only like two Jennies, if I'm right. Now they've added more. So they've added this, they've added this, and they've added that. Cool. Well, I mean, one for plus 12 would keep us nice and float for a while, but it's taking us a while to get up to 500, so we'd have to wait a bit. So I would say let's go at least for now for the silver wires, and then eventually we want to make that move, we could definitely do so. But for now, I think plus eight should be enough. Big L is calling... You can answer or ignore the call. So that's probably one of the random encounters they talked about when we did the sandbox thing. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> and I'm slightly worried about it. Let's get the productivity up first. Hi. I need 20 packs of green in five days. That's a lot of money. 20 packs of green. In I think we could do 20 packs though. I mean, we got the productivity thing just up right now, did we not? Should we do this? Can we do this? I'm gonna do that. Five days, right? Day 15? Maybe we could do that. Here's what we gotta do, though, for a fact. Um, you... ...must, um, not sell anymore, for a fact. And what I'll do is, for your spot momentarily, I'm gonna fire you. Cause, regardless of which, we still need to come over here and take care of this guy. There is a little bit of green there. The problem is that it's really random what the guy, the transporter, brings back. Yeah, see, there's no way over here to tell him to, like, you know, only bring green. I really wish they could add that feature where it's kind of like, you know, the shelves, you could dictate what you want in them. Like, be like, you know, negate everything else, only green. And then have, like, a shelf for only, like, acid and stuff like that. That would be a really, really good addition. I'm surprised it hasn't been added just yet. So that's good. One more, one day left. Yeah, we could definitely do this. Press his productivity is leveled up a little bit too, as we saw. So jump that one off. You need three more. Get your rest. Someone's being attacked over there. Yeah, Tuko's gang is attacking this gang over there. Luckily, they're ignoring me momentarily. <laughs> it's flew by right now. Get them, boys! Your order is ready. 20 packs of green for 2300. But I only have 1900. We agree on 2300? Whew. Alrighty. For a second there, I was like, well, well, what's happening? Red captured building, their income increased. Oh, uh, yes, they did. And they took over a spot that already had a lot of product in it, too. Alrighty. Well, at least we're at 20, uh, 2,000 now, which is good. So the garage would have to be here. I could move this over here, but then the travel time with the shelf would be down here. It'd be way too long of a travel time. I could move the sofa down here. Oh, but I'm not crazy about it. Let's, uh, let's give it a try then. Yeah, we could go with Josh as well. Pretty decent damage. Stamina's only, only like 0 0.9. 0 0.1. He's kind of like, you know, the male version of Emily. Let's pick up Josh. There you go, Josh. Off to sell you go. And then this could be sold. And then we build our garage, as I intended. And we get a hire for... I guess it doesn't even matter who's... Who knocks him out? 156, 156. Well, let's just do Christine for now. And then Christine, 
Over here you go. Choose. Attack. We'll fire afterwards. We don't need a fighter at the moment. Well, I mean, we, we will to eventually muscle people out of places. Like, this isn't really too bad over here. You got no product that I would need, though. There it is. He's done. So, Christine. Fire. Now. My boy. By transport. Well. We can do this one. Carry five at a time. 300 bucks. We got enough for it. Capacity five. Should we start with that one? I mean, we should probably start small, but yeah, we could do it. Ice cream truck it is. So you bring that over back over here. It's what we're doing. Oh, Miguel's gang is attacking this area, which is why I wanted to attack myself. Well, we have the hospital next door. They have some goods there. The only problem is there's a lot of dudes here and there's policemen. I'm not sure if dealing with the policemen right now is going to like trigger like cops to show up over here and start attacking us. But luckily our stocks are, at least our stocks are completely filled up now. Yeah, they're running game over here. This is the scary part about the game. If you let the gangs like, you know, take over way too much area fast. I could go in there right now and try to finish him off, but I'm not sure if doing so is going to now trigger Miguel's gang to start attacking us now. Or if I just leave them alone, they'll kind of do her thing. I mean, eventually I have to imagine they'll probably move in on us too, right? So I should consider doing that. You know what I could do as well? Since um, we took most of the product from there, we could move this up. Get rid of that. What I'm going to do right now, because that's a really small hide. I don't even need it. You go pick that up. Yeah, so that's basically, this will tell you like the priority. If you move it to the top, that'll be the priority right there. Perfect. Tuco's coming to attack this little small shindig here. I want to start working on that one. You guys are recovering HP again, too, huh? Okay. I'm thinking. We got a decent amount of scratch on us right now. That. <laughs> Office. We could take care of that one. This could be another place for us to sell. I'm gonna go on that one. Let's move in on that one then. Um, hire. How many people could we hire? Only one person. Here's what I'll do then. You. Sell. Let's make a locker right here. That'll increase my overall amount of people that we can hire. But, um, it's far away from me so I don't have to worry too much about it. This also is, this is new. Special. Here you can buy some items for your workers. I don't remember that whatsoever. Um, locker room. And... Uh, don't have any power. I could put a Jenny there. But right now we have enough room to hire three more people, which is I think more than enough, really. So let me hire two goons to just run game through here, through that office. That's what we're gonna do right now. So we'll send Shen, um, Sheldon, Sheldon Cooper in there, and Donna. Sure, why not? Okay, and you guys move on in over three years. So Donna, or choose. Choose attack. All right. What the hell is this? Random encounter. Hi, okay, here's the deal. My son wants to be a great cop, and today is his first day on the force. He'll come here for an inspection, and all you need to do is give him a bribe. It should all go nice and smooth. Here's 600 for the bribe. Okay, I'll do this for you, but you owe me. I'll think about it. Okay, at least he gave me the money for the bribe. I was like, so you're technically still shaking me down because I have to give him money myself, my own money. Alright, so at least we'll have like an office of ourselves now, so we're going to start expanding as well. This should be fairly easy enough. I mean, both of you are... This seems like fairly hurt, but I think hopefully together you should be able to... Take care of that guy? Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> you gotta be taking the piss. I was hoping they would have killed each other so then I'd have to fire them and that's good. But now we have to spend a little bit extra cash to get this dude. To finish it off. Alright, Eddie. Ah, uh, here you go. Choose attack. So this product down here, once we take care of the spot, we'll sell the office. This will be stock room. Right? Maybe? No, that'll be where we sell. So you're gone? Good. Hang out there for momentarily, just in case. Let's start selling this over here. Sell this momentarily. Actually, we should just fire because it's going to cost me money soon, aren't you? Yeah. Get out of here. 
Raid effect? Okay, that's gonna raid me, that's fine. We knew that was coming up. Should be showing up soon. There it is. Cops off to raid me. You can't just allow a good man to start up his own drug empire. No, you gotta shake him down constantly. Yeah, mighty, mighty, mighty good about you, cops. Oh, we gotta keep people off drugs in my neighborhood. Three seconds. Let's get rid of this and then we'll come back to our building over there. Come on. Oh, good afternoon, sir. Oh, dear. What is this? You're selling green? That's no good. Not good at all. <laughs> He's a wide-eyed rookie. Yes, dude. We're selling green in here. I'm sorry. Here, take this. <laughs> well, he's gonna learn quick if he's down to accept it just like that. In there, we'll start off with a three here and maybe move to a, a five afterwards. I don't think we could manage two just yet. I don't want to get too ahead of myself here, but we could definitely do one. So we have a spot for three more hirees. Let's send a. Let's send a Tracy. To work this area. So Tracy, choose, go there. That's where you're going to be working for now. You're going to also need a sofa, aren't you? Yeah, you are. The only problem is the travel. I could just put the sofa there, right? Yeah. The travel time for the shelves, though, is pretty gnarly. Here is what I could circumvent that, though, is put another shelf here. And... This primarily over there. But you know what? Forget that. Just sell this all off. This will be the sofa. It'll be a longer walk, unfortunately. I would put it there, but I kind of want to put some more stalls here eventually. Put the sofa there as well. Feels like a long walk, though, right? But then that's fine. I think it's fine. Sofa, there it is. You start working there, you got enough product over here to start selling. And... Good. There he goes. Put this in real time. It's it's a it's a fairly fairly long walk. But I'm hoping that eventually we move most of this product to this shelf. No, don't don't put it into that one, dude. <laughs> it's a longer walk. Put it into that one though. Okay. So how are we doing here this far? Kind of alright. Let's see about upgrading you, as I mentioned. Power negative one productivity four. Plus one junkies. Stamina Recover, Productivity, and Larger Showcase. Plus Power, Stamina, Productivity 10, and plus two Junkies. 500, we could definitely do that one. Let's pick that one up now. And... What product are you moving over here? Let's prioritize, if we're prioritizing green over here, let's prioritize something else over here. Let's get rid of the blue. Prioritize blue on this one, and then the perp. I just want to get rid of all the extra stuff that we have that we're not producing ourselves. That's fine. Okay, we'll see how our money situation is going to be working out this way right now. And what I'd like to do, 220 over there? Oh, it's going to be coming up pretty fast. Yeah, especially if we're selling that blue. And afterwards, get that brick out of the way too. Yeah, let's get rid of all the stuff, and then we'll move over to green after we're done here. Alright, so right now there's no gang movements. We all technically have just about the same real estate. Uh, actually, I'm a... The same as Miguel. I'm not going to count this as, like, you know, one extra real estate for me. Because we're just using it as a hiring spot, really. But, not too bad. Alright. Oh, here we go with this guy again. Hello, hello, thank you very much for your help. My son got a promotion. Sure, it was me who promoted him, but still. So, what can I do to repay you? Hey! Okay, what do we got here? Thanks, but I don't need anything. Can you help me out with the other... Yeah! Dude, I'm gonna have the cops on my side. Can you help me out with the other dealers? Sure, tell me the names. Oh, dude. Okay, um, frankly, I'm slightly more worried about Miguel right now because he's got two really big ass establishments. Two goes a bit smaller. So let's go Colombian gang. That's guy, that guy's tough. I'll send in SWAT. Send him my regards. Dude, is it gonna go down now? They're going down now, boys. Maybe I should have gone after Tuco because he's going to take over another building just now. But it's a small one. Okay, this is basically what we orchestrated right here. Let's see if the SWAT does help us out. <gasps> 
Oh my god! <laughs> SWAT boys! SWAT boys! In my back pocket. Take care of that guy. That's gonna be our location then. All we have to do is come over here and just um, assault it. Hey, um, hire, hire a dude. Hire anybody. Just get him in there. Uh, let's start off with, I guess, Taylor, maybe? Are they selling? Oh, they're not selling. We took over that. Oh, but now the cops are there? Oh, so now we have to worry about the SWAT guy. <laughs> Alrighty, it's not as simple as I thought it would be. I was hoping we could just, like, maneuver in there to just leave. No, they're gonna actually hang out there. Oh, I'm not sure we can take over the SWAT guy. Well, at least we kind of put a dent into Miguel's operation. Alright, so this is the sandbox mode, guys. As I mentioned, if you want to see more of this, let me know. We'll continue. Otherwise, we can wrap it up here and just wait for the next story update. But, um, fairly good start. Our money's going up now. We have two operations selling. So I think that's looking pretty good. I'm a bit rusty, but I think I'm picking it up again. I'll catch you guys next time.